Hello there, I'm Noodly Panda. I was asked on Twitter what my degrees were, what my education is. Well, uh, this person was particularly a friend of mine from Phoenix, Arizona, and he wanted to know what my degree was. And I have two degrees, and I'm glad to talk about them because I don't actually talk a lot about my education. I have a degree in physics and I have a degree in business. So, there you go. <laughs> um, there's things I can talk about if you want. I used to run a YouTube channel called Think Paradox that had about 2,000 some odd subscribers back in the day. And it was a public domain documentary series where users would ask me questions, or viewers would ask me questions that in regards to physics, especially theoretical physics involving like the mini world type interpretation or like the double slit experiment, the quantum eraser experiment, and things like that. And they would ask me weird questions like why is the universe homogenous and why aren't there any primordial black holes or why haven't we discovered any? And, um, what's the deal with dark matter and how would we detect it and um, what would be the process of opening up a wormhole and things like that. So I ended up answering all these questions in depth in plain English without having to throw up mathematics in your face. So I described everything in layman's terms so that the average person would be able to understand things like the many worlds theory and the double slit experiment and quantum erasure experiment. So I even answered my favorite question that I answered when it came to think paradox was about black holes. And that's basically the question was if you had two black holes that were coming together, and colliding, what would happen with the event horizons, the shadows? Would they overlap? What what would happen? And the answer to that question is, is actually they would actually interact like a bubble. Uh, they would flatten out where they touched, and they'd bulge out on the outside. So they'd actually kind of like smoosh together until they form one black hole. It, it's actually fascinating to think about. And the mathematics behind that is astonishing. <laughs> But there's also the degree in business. I have a master's in business. And business and marketing is another one of my traits that I don't talk a lot about. And that's because not very many people ask about how to start your own business or what to do when you are making your business, how to run the business and how to do finances, taxes and um, how to start a business plan, how to write it up, how to get business loans or OPM, um, which is other people's money, uh, which is loans and investments and things like that. <clears throat> so there's education behind what I say, but my YouTube channel hasn't been in that genre it's mostly been me vlogging and drinking beer and talking about the outdoors and my hubby's health and things like that. And I'm trying not to stress myself out, you know? <laughs> so I'm trying to keep things simple and try to make things so that everything is not too disjointed within my channel so that I don't have like a million different topics going on. Like I don't want to have something scary in my vlogs with my, you know, the drinking vlogs, the walking home in the woods and this in the, um, other videos that I make, like my music and Minecraft videos and gaming videos, but I'm supposing like as well, right? So maybe I should start making videos about networking and business and I mean, business networking, not Cisco networking, even though I do have a CCNA. Um, I do have a lot of, uh, certifications when it comes to, um, computers and 
my LinkedIn profile actually has a lot of testing done um, where I have passed out a lot of tests in regards to computers. I am a software developer as well as part-time software developer. Um, I do that as a hobby, but I contribute to open source software. And I'm also a avid Linux user. Um, as you know, I went from Windows and since I can't use, I went from Windows 10 since I can't upgrade to Windows 11, even on this newer laptop. Um, because this lap newer laptop has the secure boot just like the MSI did, but it doesn't have TPM2 just like the MSI. This new this laptop is newer, but it doesn't have TPM2. So I can't use Windows 11 unless I tweak the registry and screw with that. And I don't want to deal with that. So I'm just going to say screw it and I'll just stick with Linux. And which Linux I'm using is Ubuntu or Ubuntu or however you pronounce it. U-B-U-N-T-U. Ubuntu Mate. I use the Mate desktop. It's uh, Mate desktop is GNOME 2... Uh, port from that um before gnome 2 became gnome 3 and they went and gnome 3 is that new mobile like design and i don't like that design anyway that's about all i'm going to talk about in this video so i'll leave you guys don't forget to click click like comment and subscribe and if you have any questions about business marketing uh computers or Physics, I suppose, leave me a question in the comments below and I'll answer them.